To conquer my boredom in lockdown, I decided to build an arc light for my workstation. During the lockdown, I put a little over 500 kilometers on my electric skateboard riding every part of Vancouver that's accessible, printed a little over a thousand hours on my 3D printer, and spent an embarrassing amount of time on both TikTok and YouTube. This sparked my interest to pursue some of the old projects that I've always wanted to build but never had the time to. The core of this project really is quite simple. I had a piece of quarter inch aluminum laying around stretching two and a half meters, and because of how thin the metal is, it allowed it to flex easily. The exact dimensions are shown on the screen and can be bought at any local hardware store. If you can find a half inch strip, I would recommend using that because near the top of the light, it is a bit unstable. My original plan was to add Internet of Things and Google Assistant implementation making it a cool party trick, but because of current shipping times from products overseas are usually a 2 month wait, I decided to use Amazon 12V white LED strips. Once shipping times are back to normal, I will update this project with a 12V regulator and an Arduino to com officially complete it. I purposefully steered away from RGB or commonly known triple color strips because the individual LEDs on RGB strips are usually smaller to fit the other colors, reducing the amount of light emitted. The strips I used are 6500K which is considered a fluorescent radiant white and you can use a 3200K if you prefer a warmer color on your eyes or something in the middle like a 5500K. Using Fusion 360, I drew up a sketch for the base. I started with a rectangle, then replicated the dimensions of the metal piece, then used that to cut away to get the perfect fit. Then of course I chamfered the edges. The perks of having rapid fabrication so accessible is that it allows me to test different angles within the span of hours. I was concerned about the strip metal slipping out if someone was to bump it or the base was to lose grip when touched, so I nailed the base down with wood screws to my desk. I really didn't like this as 4 massive holes are now in my desk if I was to upgrade or lose interest in this project, but the safety that screwing it down provided overruled the aesthetics. My original plan was to use one row of LEDs, but they were thinner than I thought, so I went for two rows. This ended up saving me in the end because one row would not have been bright enough. After taping them down, I wired the cables up and taped the controller down to one end. I sanded down the edges where the aluminum inserts into the 3D print for better grip when the hot glue holds them in place. Then nailed the two bottoms down. One thing I noticed was that the LEDs produce quite a bit of heat and the aluminum acts as a heat sink to dissipate the heat. In conclusion, I'm super satisfied with the results of this project and currently have a Wi-Fi switch connected up to it but will be upgrading it soon with Google Home integration and app adjustable brightness via Arduino. I now have a desk light that evenly distributes light all across the workstation and to the soldering station. Not only will this be used for computer tasks, writing, and working, but also for the close-up macro shots on camera. My e-bike kit is still stuck in Shenzhen after 2 months, but I have something special coming soon that I will make a video on. Now in the last video, my friends Alex and Caleb said that I ended the video too abruptly, so here's a non-abrupt ending. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Stay safe, wear a mask, and have a good day. Bye-bye.